come on. That's the 12th time it's done that. <sighs> this game is fun. It's got potential. But they seriously need to fix those hitboxes. And maybe make it less repetitive. Anyways, I've been stalling for four hours. Whoa, okay. Back to trying to figure out what game I want to go next. A platformer? No, too vague. A shooter? No, too basic. A custom website that contains information and progress on online projects and worlds? No, I already did that one. And it immediately, too. Oh, I got it! Gaze upon its glory. Boing, boing. Boing. Oh! Postmaster is a simple Valentine slash Friendship Day themed Animal Jam minigame where the player sorts gifts into their corresponding bags and must not confuse them with the spooky icky no good phantom gift. <laughs> that being said, did you know I could code? Well, not really. I would sooner do a backflip into a volcano before coming within 50 feet of any form of text-based coding. The only coding language I actually know is literally the equivalent of playing with Lego bricks. However, like actual Legos, you can still build some pretty crazy stuff if you have the time and skill, and Scratch is the perfect website to do just that. With a low barrier of entry and an astronomically high skill ceiling, on Scratch, it's possible to create pretty much anything. And, lucky for me, I've been coding on this baby for over eight ye ye years. You, you can't tell me 2016 was eight years, years ago, ago, you're lying! Scratch will be the website I'll be creating this Postmaster 2 of sorts on. You may be wondering, why Postmaster of all minigames? Well, first off, Postmaster is a seasonal minigame. It's only available in February, and that's a shame because it's pretty fun. Also because my favorite games on Animal Jam, Treasure Hunter, Fast Foodies, and especially A Puppy's Tale, would be pretty difficult to recreate given my current skill level. But I also chose Postmaster because it's this close to being one of my favorite Animal Jam minigames, but there are a few things holding it back from greatness. My biggest gripe with the game is the fact that if you drop the gift two micrometers too high above the bag, it won't count, and it can't be grabbed after that, so you're basically screwed. The other big issue is the sheer repetitiveness of it. It's the same level, with the same gifts, every single time. It gets boring really quickly, and that's what I plan to change today. Here are my goals for the Postmaster recreation. There will be three game modes, classic, modded, and story. Ooh. Two, different level layouts. Three, works on mobile and PC. Scratch has a tendency to make games crash immediately on mobile if there's too much coding, so I'll have to find a way to optimize it as much as possible. And four, I'll spice things up even more with different power-ups. Don't know what they'll be yet, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. So, those are the four main things I want to implement. Will I achieve my goals? Is this a complete waste of time? Who am I kidding? That's gonna be true either way. First and foremost, I need to get the basics out of the way. Scratch doesn't have built-in physics, so I'll have to code that myself. Or will I? There's a YouTuber called Griffpatch, basically the master of Scratch coding, who made a ball physics tutorial a while ago. But I'm on a tight schedule, and I've already followed your entire How to Code a Platformer series, so it'd be fine if I just... So now if I just... Well, oh, oh... <laughs> um... Yeah, okay. But, uh, one strange thing is that it shouldn't really be moving on its own just yet. This should work in theory? Right? It's, it's going a little fast, but it's pretty much doing what I want it to do. This is working pretty well so far. Ooh, I just thought of something though. What if it did this? What would happen? Think it'd bounce up or... Oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Bad stuff happens. Okay, so simply put, uh, we cannot make it move like that. We gotta make it draggable in a way that doesn't make it do that. So I've made it draggable, but if you place it in a conveyor belt, it just... After a while, I got it to work. But there was one major problem. There are three unique gift types in Postmaster. The heart, the flower, and the card. It is crucial that these gifts are visually distinct from each other. However, because of the way the physics were coded, any costume that differed from the ball shape couldn't get its bounce direction calculated, causing it to delete itself the moment it hit a conveyor. 
I tried fixing it for over an hour, but nothing seemed to be working. The probability of me completing this project dropped to near zero. Dejectedly, I resigned to my Nintendo Switch and played Rain World to take my mind off the utter failure. But it was while I was playing that I had a realization. If I switch the costume there, move that block over there, three, this by two. And we were back in business. Turns out, all I had to do was switch to the hitbox costume when checking for collisions, then switch back to the gift costume. This meant I could switch the costume to whatever I wanted without repercussion. So I added the different gift bags and the phantom gifts, and it was really starting to feel like Postmaster, but better. Now it was time to really get started, creating the game modes. I've pretty much already created Classic. It's meant to be the most faithful recreation of Postmaster I can achieve. Modded, on the other hand. <laughs> I could do anything I wanted with modded. The game was in the palm of my hand. I could bend it to my every will. So, what masterful feature did I create? I added a new level layout, an extra health power-up, and a random power-up that will either make the gifts bouncy, lower the gravity, instantly collect all the gifts, or switch all the phantom gifts to normal gifts and vice versa. I later added a new gimmick where you have to clean the phantom gifts instead of burning them. Which, in hindsight, is probably why the phantoms are so mad all the time. All their Valentine's Day gifts are immediately burned without a second's thought. As for story mode, it'll be about Korzak, the male delivery fox, as they struggle to deliver all the gifts in time for friendship day. But the spooky evil phantoms are gonna find a way to ruin it, oh no! Can, can you tell it took me two minutes to come up with that? But to make the story mode come to life, I would have to make art. A lot of art. At this point, I could have stopped. Everything was working how I wanted it to, and I had fun whenever I played it, but I wanted to go all out. I wanted this game to feel complete. I wanted this to be my magnum opus of Scratch games, to be enjoyed by the Animal Jam community and beyond for years to come. And so, I got back to work. I spent hours studying the original game's art style, tracing over assets, and even ripping audio to make it look and sound as authentic as possible. They're indistinguishable from each other now. Try to find a single difference trick question you can't. I even switched back to my old Lineless style to make it feel even more like Animal Jams. Do I regret going this route? Speaking of story mode, I have this bad habit of adding boss battles to literally every single game I create, and this time will be no different. It's boss battle time! You just gotta drag the gifts to the boss to defeat it. It was now time for the final test. I needed somebody else to play the game, to see if it was ready for the public. So, I let my sister try out the story mode. Yeah, see? Look at them. They're looking at each other like, Yeah, we don't got those, so they can't either. And so they want it to be turned into goo. And now... Oh, dude, what the... Why do you- where'd you get that? <laughs> he had it pre-made! He had it pre-made? Yeah, he made like a bunch of those. Why?! Okay. He was gonna give them to a lady he liked. Oh. He gave like 50,000 of these <laughs> to all different girls and they all rejected him. <laughs> so this little guy, he finds these and he's really mad. Oh, what, what's happening? INTO THE PIT! The pretty roses in there, and the pretty roses in there. <laughs> and then we put the- <laughs> I'm stressed. Why are they coming out so low? Ah! Ah! Ew, no, no! No! Stop bouncing! This is so stressful. What? Why did it? I don't like this. <laughs> Stop! 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 <laughs> See, because I can't pay attention to the magnet when this is happening. I don't have that many eyes! Do it, Dude, watch. It's way too hard. It's okay to ignore some of them really quickly. Just to grab that. No, because then that's thing. gonna happen. No. <laughs> you stinky liar. <laughs> you have to pay attention to so many things. Okay, so I assume you want to stop. Yes. Okay. So, yeah, it was way too hard. I thought the original game was too boring, and fixing that, in my eyes, included making it harder. But in my conquest for perfection, I failed to realize that if I, the creator of the game, who knew every single strategy and power-up, every little feature and coding error, 
found the game difficult, then imagine how hard it'd be for someone who's never played before. At this point, I was running out of time. I'd already missed my every other week upload schedule for the first time in six months. And as I'm writing this, I have to somehow find a way to edit it all in two days. As quickly as I could, I implemented a button that switched the game to easy mode, where the gift goal and spawn rate were lowered and missing a gift dealt less damage. I then asked my sister to play the new mode and see if it was to her liking. All right. Eh, balloon. Easy. <laughs> Demolish that round. Yes, I'm gonna say that every time I win. Spawn! Down the power of probability. Oh! Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, that's normal. <laughs> I'm so good at this game. <laughs> time, don't I worry, know, man. but I don't like how they escape my grasp. Absolutely demolishing this one. Okay. What's happening? Oh, you go up there, you go there, you go there. Okay, 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 honey. Oh! Okay. <laughs> I hate my job. It's pop on. Ah! Light build. Stop! Me and the gifts. Nah, this is good. 10 out of 10 slay experience. La da dee, la da do, la da dum. Oh! I hate that. Make sure to check at the left and right. I can't get that one. Hey, but you did good though. I'm done for now, but we will be coming back to this. All right. And there we have it, the completed version of Postmaster Scratch Edition. Did I achieve everything I wanted? Almost. Of the list I created, I'd say I completed all but number three. The game is very unstable on mobile and will crash if kept running for too long. So if you're gonna go for a high score or just wanna beat story mode, I highly recommend using a PC or a stronger device in general to do so. Speaking of which, the game is available for you to play right now. It can be found through the link in the description or the pinned comment. I really hope all my hard work pays off and everyone enjoys it. Make sure to comment your high score, and while you're at it, tell me what game I should recreate next. <laughs> just kidding, I'm never doing this again. But I'm still interested in seeing what y'all have in mind. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all the Saturday after the next. Maybe. Bye!